Okay, so hey, this is Chris Day here, and I'm here with Deanne Cook, and we go back, I don't know how far, quite, a, quite a long time. Yeah. All my kids were in this uh, community youth play, what, drama group? Idaho Falls Youth Art Center. <laughs> yeah, Idaho Falls Youth Art Center. We call it IFYAC. And my kids, all my kids have been in the If Yak plays, and Deanne helped with the costumes. Hours and hours and hours and hours of work. Making, fixing, I mean, hours. Repairing, trying on. Yeah. Right. I, I, she's so... She was it's so a work of art. I thought, yeah, I thought, how can you do that? That is so much time. So, thanks. I think well, I've thanked you before you for, all the, <laughs> for all the work that you did. So anyway, she came to my house, Joe, and she got went home with a piece of art, and it's over here. Um, and now what? Just tell me, why did you want this piece? Um, well, I loved all of them. <laughs> it was hard to but pick one. But I, I had a son that had just returned home from a mission serving in Maine. And oh, yeah. the lighthouses are mm -hmm. huge in Maine. And I've been to some of those. Yeah. And I love the lighthouse. He came home singing um, Brightly Beams Our Father's Mercy. Oh, yeah. And that's a... And I could name fit. it that. <laughs> <laughs> and it fits. And so, yeah, that's why I chose the lighthouse. So it was wasn't... because of Jeff. Yeah, well, that's that's a good story. I I have the same love, or there's just something about lighthouses that, you know, I've been on both coasts, seen lighthouses on both coasts, and there's just something about a lighthouse. Um, uh, so... I I wanted a wooden lighthouse because when I first started making art, everything was just kind of like plain wood. I love wood. I love the the grain of the wood. I love the feel of the wood and the smell. And I love trees and and so I was just making natural wood pieces of art. So I I just picked up all these buckets and I can't tell you everywhere I found them but I found I'm gonna start at the bottom or the top yeah let's start down here okay so I I found this this is an ice bucket this this section right here from here to here it goes up inside here. It fits up inside this one. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I found this one at like Deseret Industries. And I found this one there also at Deseret Industries. And so I had these two buckets. And and I needed a couple more because I wanted it to be I wanted it to be taller. So I was looking around town and I went into I went into an antique shop and I was looking around for buckets and I walked down the stairs into this real, this room, really dark room. And like nobody goes there, it's dark and kind of scary. But I found a planter. I found this bottom bucket and it had this uh, thing in the middle that connected this bucket on, on top. So there's a small bucket on top, a stem kind of a thing to connect the two, and then the big bucket on the bottom. And I, I just thought well, that is so fortuitous that I found this bucket. And they all fit exactly together. So I love when that happens. And then this is one of those nut bowls I keep talking about. This is a nut bowl. And in the middle of this nut bowl is a little, um, it's almost like a spool where you put your 
toothpicks or nut picks. That's, oh, oh no, no, those two big holes are for the nut cracker. And then the small holes are where all the nut picks go. So I don't mm. know if anybody's seen any of those. Mm. And there are various sizes. Some are bigger than this. This is a smaller one. So is this the inside piece? This. No, this is not the inside piece. I oh, always okay. take those out and use them somewhere else. Like on that fountain. The, the fountain in Santa Fe. Oh, yeah. That top part probably went in here. Okay. Because it has the two holes and then the like the six little holes around it. And this this piece right here, I, I, I don't know what it is. I just found it like this. Somebody had lathed, had made it, you know, it was hand lathed. Well, can't say it's hand lathed because it was on a, an electric lathe. And so I just stuck that there. So this is like, you know, where they might look out, where the light keeper might stand. Even though, you know, probably not, but. <laughs> it looks like it. It just represents that. Mm -hmm. Because usually they have like things around here where they go around the candle part of it. They walk around the candle and, you know, they wash the, the windows and things. But anyway, it, a light keeper's responsibility was to make sure this went, this was lit. 24 hours a day, forever. But their other responsibility was if they saw a shipwreck or people needed help, it was their job to go out and rescue them. Yeah, did you know that? Oh no, I thought they would have to like get help. <laughs> well, Someone they do would. too. The, the light keeper is the one responsible for that. Oh, cool. So, and, and other people too. Um, maybe it's kind of like a volunteer firefighter thing, um, but it was his responsibility. And so he'd always have these boats and rescue equipment and everything, and, and they would put themselves in danger doing that. So anyway, the light, that's not his only responsibility, was to keep the light going. So I learned this through all these visits I had on both coasts learning about light keepers and it seems like a, like a romantic life but it was very hard work you know just live out there and grow garden I mean they had to be self-sustaining they had to grow their own food because a lot of times they're way far away from everybody they took care of themselves and their families and and anyway wow that's cool, I didn't even know all that. Yeah, so this piece right here, this squarish long piece, was one of those candy dispensers. And yeah, right here's where the candy came out. Oh, that's convenient. So I took this cord, I bought this, I, I had this cord already. I stole it from one of my like flood lamps. I took it off one of my usable flood lamps because I needed a cord. So I, this, this has a hole down in the middle of it. So I threaded it up through this mouth, up through the top, and then into here. Mm -hmm. And that is actually part of the flood lamp. Mm -hmm. It was, I made this probably in 2000, between 2005 and 2007, this was made. So that was 12 years ago. <clears throat> um, so let's see, this is a lid of something. It's, it goes on something. This was a lid, that's why it has this lip. And then I don't know what this thing is. Does it it's like a, a planter? Oh, oh yeah, yeah like a plant maybe you put a in pot it. in it yeah. and it just sits there so it's not sitting on the cupboard. They probably. And then this is another lid. So I just drilled a hole through that. It's like a, and it had, it had rubber. It had a rubber seal around here. It's kind of like a, um, not a condiment jar, but like flour or sugar, that type of. Oh, okay. What are those things called? Gosh, I haven't said that word forever. 
And then this metal piece was part of the light, part of the lamp, mm -hmm. I think. You can take this out and replace it if it burns out. But um, this was all part of that flood lamp. I think a couple years later I thought, where did I put that flood lamp? I need it. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I had another one though. Okay, so this jar, oh, it goes on this lid. This is the lid for this jar. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. This is the lid for this jar. So here's the it's jar. It's like a candy jar or a yeah, flower it's, jar. It's yeah. a really cool shape. It's kind of a squarish. And I bought it specifically for a lighthouse, for, to put on, on a lighthouse. And I don't know... I think I went out and I looked for one, and this is what I found. And then after that, I thought, that's a cool thing. I think I'm going to make more lighthouses. So I went out and bought more Charged. like this. But this is, I think this is the best one as far as the shape and everything. So have you made more lighthouses? I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, so I might just... Take those back to the second hand store, I don't know. And then I found this bowl. It was a it was a metal bowl. So you can see that it's a bowl. So it's supposed to be like this. And I glued it on the top and it just fit. And then it seemed like it needed something else. So this this was for candles, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. So this just sits here and put one of those little fat candles in there. I don't do candles, but I buy a lot of things, from, you know, that are a DI that, or other secondhand store, stores that, um, from people who did candles. Anyway, that's pretty cool. So that's, that's the tower. And of course, I always start with the base, and this is just a drawer, and I can't even remember. Okay, so this is the bottom of the drawer. So this is the top of the drawer. So it was open, and I must have... So I put a board over the top, and I thought, I'm just going to make some rocks. I had no idea what I was doing. I thought, well, every lighthouse has to be on you know, some rocks. So I went to the, probably went to Home Depot and I got some foam. Cause I thought, how am I gonna make rocks? I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I got some foam and it was just the like the one inch foam. So I had to glue all these pieces of foam together. I glued one inch pieces of foam on uh, together and I didn't know what kind of glue to use and so I was using the wrong glue oh, no. and it was melting so anyway I figured out which glue and I, I can't remember what that was but now I buy a glue that's specifically made for um, foam so it doesn't melt it it's just a like a it has it's a big tube and you screw it out, you know. Right. I don't know, whatever that's called. So then I just glued a bunch of pieces on top and I didn't know what it was gonna look like. And I did the same thing on this side. I did the same thing on this side. I just glued the scraps that I had cut off of here. I just glued the scraps on top and then I took my probably my I'm gonna say my cut cold bread knife, or some kind of bread knife, and I just started carving. And I'd, I'd never carved anything before, but I just had seen a lot of rocks. I'd, I'd, I would study the rocks, and I would look at them and see what's on those rocks, just because I was curious. There are a lot of birds on the rock. Um, so, you know, I paid attention to that. But the rocks, though they're not black, they look black from the distance. 
So I painted them black. After I finished carving it, I painted it all black and then I splattered it with white paint. And before the paint was dry, I was in a hurry. I painted, I put them, um, no, no, that's, that's in a minute. So, the, so I knew what the birds left on the rock. There was a bunch of guano on all these sea rocks, <clears throat> bird guano. And so I just painted the bird guano. I wanted to look, it to look authentic. So I painted the rocks with the white, you know, on every surface I could find, because that's how it is. And, and before it was dry, I, I was in a hurry, so I painted varnish on it. And I left it to dry. Well, the next day I came out and it was all cracked. And I thought, oh my word, <laughs> look at it. I ruined it. It's all cracked. It had all these cracks in it. Yeah, that's how I did this accidentally. But at the same time, it was Perfect. a fortunate accident. Yeah. And after a while, after I thought I ruined it, I looked at it and I thought, no, I didn't ruin it. It looks great. Every, <laughs> I don't know. I think I did my shipwreck and then I did this. But I, every lighthouse needs, you know, like a shipwreck on it or a wrecked boat or whatever. <laughs> so I had this boat. It was about this tall. It was pretty tall and it was all in one piece and I thought and I started putting it on here and I thought this is this is not gonna work because it's this big stiff boat it's not gonna go on here and so then I decided to make it into a shipwreck so I took this boat um, it actually had a hole right here like it's a bird a birdhouse okay. it's one of those birdhouse boats that sits on the end of it that it sits on the end and then you have this birdhouse boat. So I thought, how am I gonna make this so that it fits on this base? So I took this boat and it, and it was like natural color. It was natural wood, white, like a, a light natural wood. So you stained so it? So I stained it, yeah, afterwards. But I took this boat and I put it right behind the wheel of my van and I backed over it so that oh my word. <laughs> you didn't know that did you I didn't know that you know, <laughs> that's so, hilarious so I backed over the boat because it was pretty sturdy and I wasn't like I don't want to take a saw and just make all these even cuts I wanted it to look like it was you know crashed onto the rock so that's what I did <laughs> so after I did that there were some pieces that were st I still I just took them out and threw them away and then I just shoved it together and that's how I made this shipwreck or this this rowboat wreck or whatever that's fun and then I took some it had some oars with it so I broke the oars and I cut holes in them. I just went zit, 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 and I and I created the. Well, this is the back end of the boat. Made it look like I wanted it to. Oh no! I put this like this is the hold. So instead of that bird oh. circle for the birdhouse look, yeah, I just I made this little piece of wood like it's the, the lid. I don't know what you call that lid, the top, whatever. And then I just stuck some driftwood in there. <laughs> so that's that story. There's the other ore right there. Um, this was to represent any windows in the lighthouse. And it had some wax paper in there. It's since not there. It disappeared at my house some time ago. But anyway, it looked like a window because it was 
wax paper. Mm -hmm. This is a box. I've used several of these boxes for my ships or something. They are similar to this. Um, it ends here. And then I had this piece of triangle. I had already had this triangle piece of wood. And so I stuck it there. And then this is mahogany. And I just had this board of mahogany. I don't remember where I got it. So I just cut it to fit here for the roof. And I, I probably did find it at DI, but I, I don't know, sometimes I steal things from my kids. That's funny. Yeah, and this drawer was my dad's. And it's really old. And he just had it and he had stuff in it. And I, I think that's right. <laughs> I don't think I got it from a secondhand store, but I could have. And let's see. This was in a show. It was in a show at the Carr Gallery. No, the Willard Art Center in the Carr Gallery. It was one of three. And this, this one was one of them. And I think that's why I put that on it. But anyway, here's my brand. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's my signature right there. It's she just burns it. Isn't that so cool? That is cool. Totally yeah, brands her. Burner, so which cool. cost a pretty penny. So these these two are I screwed through the bottom of this to somehow. attach them. Yeah, oh, yeah, to connect them. them. I used a lot of glue, and I don't know that I screwed. These are probably just glued on. But in order, so I, I connected these and it was easy. I connected these two and it was easy. But connecting these two to each other, I just got these handles. I have a bunch of these handles from, like I get them in bags. People replace their handles and they just throw them in a bag and send them to DI or secondhand store. And so, um, how does that work? Them. No, that, that couldn't be because I have to screw them from the inside. I had to have screwed these in first. Yeah, because they screw from the inside. So I don't even know what I'm talking about. I did these first and then so you did. I did these others. Are those these first? Insulators, the no. Oh, yeah. I didn't talk about these. Um, these are not glass insulators. I found these four at DI. Somebody had made them, and they're really good. Ceramic I mean, pots, right? They're just little. They could be cups or vases or whatever, but I found all four of them. So these represent the fog horn. Or, you know, so that they can. Right. Eh, eh, and there's danger. I mean, they're so loud. Oh, so they really they're have They're deafening. Those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the ships do too. Like, the ships will pull their fog horn saying, I'm here, I'm here, don't hit me. I heard them a oh. lot in Rhode Island at Allison's house. I'd hear these fog horns going off. It was pretty awesome. That's cool. Allison lived in Rhode Island for three, three and a half years. And I visited her and my grandkids there like eight times in three and a half years for various reasons. But then since they've moved to Portland, Portland, Oregon, to the other side of the <laughs> continent. I think that's it. So, ciao.